Let me now introduce the co-founders of GONO, a company that produces the fuel for the companion PC. First, Dr. Kathleen Norris, Regents Professor at the University of North Texas and Chief Education Architect of GONO. And Dr. Elliot Soloway, Arthur F. Thurl Professor at the University of Michigan and Chief Strategy Officer of GONO. Kathy, please tell us how GONO's products are the fuel for the MA's companion PC. GONO has created a software system that supports both teachers and students. For teachers, it allows them to turn paper and pencil lessons into lessons that students can use that takes advantage of the capabilities of the companion PC. In creating these lessons, they can be simple, a simple activity such as creating a concept map that define, where students define the steps, say, in the water cycle process and illustrate their relationships to one another, or the lesson can consist of many activities, including the definitions that I just mentioned. They could do a drawing and animation about the steps in the water cycle. They could write about the water cycle. And perhaps they could create questions for their classmates to answer in a quiz format about the water cycle. The mobile learning environment also supports the students as they engage in enacting the lesson that the teacher has just created. In addition, the mobile learning environment supports the teacher as he or she manages the documents and the lessons that they have created for the students to use. For example, the mobile learning environment lets the teacher grade the, grade the lessons, distribute the lessons, collect the student work, give students the feedback. Most importantly, the mobile learning environment lets teachers do differentiated instruction. You have 30 students, they have different needs. You have some struggling learners, you have some talented and gifted students. What the mobile learning environment lets you do is create lessons that are geared to each of those different groups, distribute them out, and collect up the work from the students. And now let's look at the MLE home screen, which is called My Projects. In this case, we see a water cycle project. Over here on the right, we have all of the tools that the teachers can use to build their lessons, or their lesson blueprints. You see the typical icons, Word, Excel, Internet Explorer. Below that, there's an icon for one of the GONO products called Sketchy. Sketchy is a drawing and animation program that children will use frequently. Below that is something called PicoMap. Pico, PicoMap is another GONO application that's a light version of inspiration. And below that, you see the scroll bar. And that scroll bar indicates schools can add whatever other tools they are currently using as tools in the palette for the teacher to use to build their lessons. To the left of the tool palette, we have the lesson blueprint. The lesson blueprint is the details of the lesson that the teacher has just created. For example, in the water cycle, we see that there are resources that the teacher has provided. And for example, these are the instructions. And over here are learning activities that the student needs to do. Let's click on the instruction icon and see what instructions the teacher has given the student. By double clicking there, I open up the icon in Word. And here is a simple set of instructions that the teacher has for the student for the water project. We can see that this teacher has asked the student to draw a concept map, to draw an animation, to use uh, Microsoft Office Word to write about the, the concept map. And if I close it up by going up to the X over there, notice that I go back to the home screen. I go back to the anchoring page. I go back to the blueprint. This is very important. The student always knows where they are in the lesson. They have the lesson in front of them all the time. Now, if you look below the Word, uh, the, the Word document, you can see that the teacher has found three very good websites. Oftentimes, the teachers don't want the children off on the internet. Rather, they find, the teacher will find websites that they are good for the lesson. And using our little uh, addition to Internet Explorer, they can cache the websites and include them in the lesson. So if I click over here on the first icon, we see this is a, from a website. And indeed, this is good information that's relevant to the water cycle, water cycle lesson. And again, I close it up and I come back to the home screen. And these are a couple of more less, a couple of more web pages that are relevant to the water cycle. Elliot told you about the teacher created resources in this because what we have is a cohesive lesson. 
that's made up of teacher resources and, as he said, activities for the students to do. So let's look at some of the activities that the students have done. The first one is a concept map, and the concept map contains definitions of terms in the water cycle, and it shows the relationships between each of these. So here are the nodes with evaporation, transpir transpiration, runoff, and so on, and the relationship between them with the arcs. When we close this, we're back to our anchor page with the lesson. Another activity, and this one, this one is one of the most wonderful activities. It's called Sketchy. And Sketchy is what children use to show their understanding with pictures or with pictures and words, what we call animate and annotate. This particular one, a child, a sixth grade child created, and it's his understanding of the water cycle, but he took it one step further. In that, he uh, told the story from the perspective of a drop of water. So he's a drop of water, and this is what happens to him in the water cycle. To start this, I simply tap on this icon that looks like a roll of movie film, and it starts. It said, today was the best day of my life. I got loaded into a water truck, and the truck is going to the Royal Rumble. It stops in front of the WWF, the World Wrestling Federation. I got loaded into a filter, someone drank me, and it was Randy Orton, who must be a wrestler. And today, there was a tough match, HHH versus the Legend Killer. After the match, I was sweated out and evaporated, and I didn't get to see the results of the match. I found some of my friends we condensed into a cloud, we floated out to the Himalayas, and on and on and on with his story. Let's take a look at another activity. This is where the student has to describe the water cycle in words. We've just seen the student describe the water cycle in pictures and in story format, but now there's another representation that the student needs to use. And I'm opening up Word, and here is the beginnings of a description. Now, clearly, this looks like a work in progress. Yes, yes. This is a work in progress. The student has just begun writing about it. What's interesting here is that the student has manipulated a, a concept map, an animation, a textual document. The research shows that when children manipulate multiple representations, multiple media, they develop a deeper understanding of the content. They come at it from multiple perspectives. Also, you've heard about Martin, uh, Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences. And what the multiple activities allow children to do are multiple entry points. So a child might begin by doing the concept map, or another child might begin by doing the animation. But they're going to all do all the activities. It's where do you start, where do you build the confidence that you do want to understand and develop an understanding of the material. Thank you for the quick tour of MLE. How do teachers get MLE onto their students' companion PCs? On the CD that's included in the box of the companion PC, there's a 45-day free, fully functioning version of the mobile learning environment. So what you need to do is call us. On the phone, we can help you set up the accounts for GoManage, we can help you install the GoNo software on your companion PCs, and we can talk to you about providing professional development for your teachers and staff so that you really get the most out of your experience with the GoNo mobile learning environment. You can contact our Director of Customer Service, Christy Barnett. Her contact information is on the CD. Let me summarize. You've purchased the Companion PC, which is truly a revolutionary device. It's the most important computer to come out for K-12 since the Apple II. To make that device really run, to take the most advantage of that device, you need educational software that's been expressly designed for students and for teachers. And our mobile learning environment is precisely that kind of software. The mobile learning environment will be enjoyable to use for the students, will be enjoyable to use for the teachers, and most importantly, the students will be successful. Their achievement, their performance will improve. 
So don't forget to call us. Thank you for viewing this video and for giving us the opportunity to help move your students into the 21st century.